Well, we need to try it in something. Oh God, this is not gonna fucking work, is it? Say a prayer. Oh my god, this thing is gonna like bust right off. <laughs> hey guys thanks for tuning in sorry it's been a few months again but i swear i've been busy this is our first time trying to design something nautical so uh it might take a couple tries here using some spruce wood I had left over from another project. I know after reading that this is not ideal wood for any type of marine project, but at least we got to recycle it and we didn't have to buy anything else. Damn it, I really need to invest in a vice. My legs are not cutting it. All right, our next step is to apply some kind of stain or coating. I should be using the fancy stuff that's meant for boats, but uh, I have this stuff laying around and I'm pretty cheap, so we're gonna apply a lot of coats of this. I have got to be the worst painter, so don't go judging these brush strokes. quality caveman grip strength right there. Alright, we got this finished with varnish. Now I'm just gonna attempt a second coat with this guy. 
uh, crystal clear. Hopefully make it a little bit more water resistant. Uh, we'll see. Okay, we have the beautiful body of this <laughs> home-built motor created. Now it's time to apply the hardware. I picked up this little electronic trolling propeller from Amazon for about 20 bucks. I'm using the, the good old JB Weld to attach the propeller to my makeshift uh, propeller shaft here. I'm trying to use some Loctite and super glue to secure these nuts to the propeller shaft, but I just couldn't get it to dry. So I found a tip online from Slice of Life Channel using some baking soda here to try to dry it up. That baking soda trick actually worked pretty good there. Hardened everything up quite a bit faster. I'm so happy it's held together. Well, let's go find some water and see if this works. Of course, a hooplehead like me has decided to do this project in the middle of the winter. So every single body of water is frozen solid right now around me. We're gonna have to find some water, but first. Cheers, boys. Homemade boat motor, scientific test, take one. That's pure joy in this creep's face. Okay, it survived its first test. But my next problem, I don't have a boat to test it on. <laughs> 